from Britbo. Um, it's one week nearly into lockdown. Um, well, it'll be a week tomorrow, but it's been a week since I've seen Stephen. So, yeah. Um, I hope everybody's okay. It's been a strange week. It's really strange times. It's emotional times. It's mentally weird times so i'm literally watching loads of stuff i'm reviewing loads of stuff just to keep busy um just to pass the time really <laughs> so um disney plus has came in really handy right now um so this is going to be a review for one of my favorite robin williams movies called jack which i've just discovered on disney plus um well i I haven't just discovered it today, sorry. I grew up watching this movie, so I'm getting so much nostalgia right now. Um, during lockdown, watching movies I grew up with. Um, yeah, so this is for Jack. Um, yeah, I couldn't believe this was on Disney+. Plus. So, yeah, it's... Oh, I just absolutely love it. I forgot how much I love this movie. It's so emotional. It's... It's an interesting concept. It's it's one of its kind. It's unique. So, uh, Robin Williams. It, I mean, it starts with um, Robin Williams as well. Jack, Jack's mum and dad at a party, um, and she goes into labour, but she's not due for another seven months. And she's like, "It's too early. It's too early." Um, but anyway, um, Jack is born healthy, normal nine month size. Um, so anyway, they're, they're baffled, the medics are baffled, they look into it and say that, and they discover that he's got this rare condition where he looks four times older than what his real age is. Um, so basically they have a discussion and say when he's 10, he'll look about a 40 year old man. So then it jumps forward to him being 10 and it's all about how he wants to go to school he wants to be a normal 10 year old boy even though he looks 40 um and the whole the whole oh, just the whole like experience like from going to school entering the classroom meeting teachers trying to make friends in the playground it's so relatable um, not the age thing, because obviously that's a rare condition, but the whole starting school and making friends and things. Um, Robin Williams portrays Jack it, it absolutely beautifully. Like, he's just, he literally, like, gentle is the perfect word to describe Robin Williams' character in this. Um, and he did such an amazing job. Like, oh my God, you just wanted to constantly give him a cuddle <laughs> and just look after him and tell him, Everything's fine. You'll be okay. Um, I t I, one thing I did notice though, the score. The score is beautiful. The score is absolutely stunning. I've just had a quick look on Amazon. Um, it looks like it did get released on vinyl, but the one on Amazon's just in like a bit of white paper packet. <laughs> so I'm going to look for one with the proper artwork on. Um, I know he's, it's probably not the best subject right now, but Bill Cosby was brilliant in this movie um, as Jack's tutor, but then he also meets Jack's new friends from school. Um, another thing, the kid actors, oh my God, the kids were absolutely brilliant. Had a quick spy on IMDb, couldn't really find much recent, um, much recent for any of them, which is a shame because they were absolutely brilliant in this movie. Um, but yeah, it, it's got a really, it's got a good message. It's got a really good message about time, uh, like life and time and making the most of it. I mean, the speech at the end when they're all graduating and he's all grey and needs glasses and just the whole, that whole speech is just, it's iconic. It's, it just makes you sit and think for a little bit. Um, the, even, I mean, the scene that got me as well was, um, when all the kids start coming to the front door and saying, is Jack coming out of play? <laughs> but you got the comedy side of it there. I mean, he's old enough to go and buy, like, porn magazines, so they're sending them to the shop to buy them. Um, then he goes to the pub and gets drunk with his best friend's mom because she thinks that he's the principal. <laughs> Uh, the humour is there, the strong message is there, uh, the, just the the love 
like you just feel like so much love for him um and how much love he's got from his friends the poem that his best friend louis um not the poem it's not a poem it's an essay um yeah it just it kind of just makes you sit out for a while afterwards and just think about time basically um but no this will def this is always going to be in my top three robin williams movies along with hook um oh maybe it's patch adams i absolutely loved patch adams um yeah but you will always be remembered robin williams so see you in the outtakes okay so here in the outtakes um i know i've been having a bit of a mascot on my shelf relating to what we're talking about um i don't have anything jack related um i don't have anything robin williams related i thought i had a genie but i think that's at stevens <laughs> so and i don't own hook why don't i own hook why didn't i buy the vhs hook in new zealand forever regretting that so i've kind of done something a little different um so i have this book how to stop time by matt haig um that's the hardback version um this is the paperback version um the reason i've chose this um is because there's a character the main character in this book is called tom and he has a condition like an aging condition slightly different to jack um but basically i was just reading this before i've not long finished this book this book lives in my heart forever this book this book made you think about life and time as well so i de definitely recommend it if you are looking for something to read during these times um but yeah so we got he's got this condition but basically um it's a one to 15 ratio for aging um so he basically ages one year every 15 years i know jack in jack um he ages faster whereas tom in this ages slower um so one year no 15 years will go by and he will age by one year basically um so obviously he has to keep moving around um because it can get dangerous and people start to talk because he just doesn't age so I thought that was a nice little connection, um, similar connection, just because it both make you think about life and make you think about time. Um, it's probably on a lot of people's minds right now. Um, it's definitely on mine. Just time. Just <laughs> yeah. So now nah, it was a it was a nice Sunday morning movie that one. Um, yeah. So this will be on the channel at some point again i don't know if he will add outtakes um i don't know what i'm going to watch next i was considering the parent trap with uh lindy lohan in um but i'll decide soon but yeah hope everybody's okay um we will get through this of course we will it's just the little things that we're gonna look forward to the most like i'm looking forward to a coffee I'm looking forward to going to like Costa or Cafe Nero and sitting down and having a coffee. That is one thing I'm looking forward to most. So, yeah. Uh, like, share and subscribe. Um, I've been Britball. Speak soon. I wish, I wish for an outtake. Ping. Every time Brit sends us a review and I'll get right a letter up for you, Brit, and then all of a sudden she'll be like, I think he's going to appear on the outtakes. I'll be like, oh, no, man. That's what it means. I've got to get dressed or fucking undressed. There you go, I've just swore. That's probably not a good thing, but there, look what she's done. I don't want to be in these reviews. I think she does a great job on your own. She doesn't need me coming in and walking in with a chainsaw like the Fast and the Furious. Like, I'm going to get your briefcase. It's just kind of a bit fucking weird. But that's what she's on about. Well, she was on about the lamp as well. But as I say, I'm not painting myself up blue like a genie again. But that's what she's on about. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's at Stevens. She knows it's here. Because look how big it is. And that's going to fit in the shelf, is it? Would have been great for the review. Should have took it home with you. But no, it sits on the shelf. So, yeah. What are you going to have, Alibaba? What question today can we have? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks for watching. In the review. I can't even speak. I'm not planned. Unscripted. Goodbye. But now. Keep wishing. Keep wishing.
You ain't never had a friend like me. <laughs> Saying that, I've just said goodbye. Jack, I do remember Jack. I don't actually own Jack. It's a really good film. Came along at, like when Robin was like, had his hair day and was branching out of films. Jennifer Lopez, Will Cosby, in that movie as well. She's phenomenal. But you know, if you want a friend called Jack, you just need to click your fingers and make a wish.